Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys, as always. I have another very special video for you guys. It is going to be another... As it loads... Go faster... That's right guys, it is going to be another base build video. As you can see right here guys, I have a new base build for you guys. I love doing base builds. They're a lot of fun for me. I just like messing around with them. As a creative person I am, I just like trying to create new things. Um, but this is my hurricane base design. It is a trophy base, so that means that we are going to put our town hall right there in the middle. And we're going to bring some of our most important defensive defenses if not our most important defense um the wizard tower it is going to be right there in the middle next we're going to be grabbing our mortars all of these you can see are in a sort of triangulated um position around the around the base and around the town hall which is what we're trying to protect we're not trying to protect resources as much in this one um so we're also going to be centralizing our air defenses because as you get up in higher levels um, even when you're in lower levels, it depends on who you run into, but a lot of people will run giant healer or they will run dragon attacks and things like that. So we're going to put our air defenses triangulated as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring that dark elixir in here. We're going to bring our barbarian king in here just so that he stresses people out. Um, and then we are also going to be grabbing our clan castle and putting that in the middle as well. Um. People can draw out the troops from the side, but you know what, this is as centralized as I can really get it. Um, so, you know, actually I think we can, why don't we go ahead and move it right here. Um, I like the way that looks a little bit better. Um, so, next, those are our main defenses, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and bring in some of our storages. As you know, since this is a defensive base, these storages are not as important. I know we all love our gold. And we all love our elixir. We might love our gold a little bit more, but hey, when we're pushing for trophies and we're, and we're trying to get that, we can't protect our resources as much. Um, so we're going to bring all these in here. Come on. Put that in there. Bring this gold over and put that in there as well. Um, and as you can see, they are spread out all the way around the base um, just so that someone can't only attack one side and get um, all of our resources because... I don't want them to get the resources. I really don't, but they have to be um, they have to be on the edge because my main goal is protecting my trophies. Um, we're gonna bring in our archer towers as well. I'm gonna bring in some of our cannons, put them right around here. I think I actually want my yes, I want my level ten cannon in here. Um, dang it! <laughs> so we're gonna be putting the level ten cannon right in there. Um, and Archer Tower here. We're just going to keep spreading our defenses out. We're going to space them out evenly when it comes to um, the type of defense that they are, just so that there isn't too much over coverage or anything along those lines. Um, so let's grab our Teslas. These are going to be our little uh, giant traps, which I'm super stoked about because I love watching giants fly up the screen with spring traps. So there's one of our Tesla traps. Bring this one over and put it right in here as well and then yep our other one is right up here in the top bring that in and that is the last of our Teslas bring this cannon right in here and it looks like we are almost done with putting in all of our defenses I'm gonna bring this last cannon right up here put it in there and then it looks like that is it alright so that's everything for the defenses guys as you can see, we do have our triangulated mortars covering practically the entire base. This cannon is the only thing that's not covered. We have our wizard towers covering, and then we also have our air defenses covering the whole base, which is exactly what we are looking for um, when it comes to this design. Uh, next, guys, one important thing that you can do so that people don't just come and raid you for your resources in your collectors is spreading them out around the base, doing like one of each like this, so you have an elixir and a gold, um, and then continuing to spread them around as well. Let's put this little guy in there. Um, and as you do that, as you spread them around the base, it's going to take the uh, attacker, they're going to have to deploy a lot more troops. So if they aren't looking to deploy a whole lot of troops, then you could be safe. Um, 
so that is the main reason that I do that kind of thing with um, when it comes to my storages and my collectors. Well, not my storages, sorry. My collectors. Um, I spread them out evenly across the base uh, so that people can't just come and steal my resources pretty easy. I think, I don't know. I just don't want them to be able to lazy raid me, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep on... Um, we're just going to keep on moving around the base, plugging in all of these buildings. Um, and then we're going to put our traps in there in a little bit. Bring that big guy in there. What else do we have? Bring this elixir collector over. Put the elixir collector in between the two golds. And then that looks like it. So that's it. Now we're going to grab our spring traps. One at the entrance and one on the way to the cannon. So that right there can take out six giants. If you didn't know that, each trap can take out three giants. Um, so we can put all these in here. And any giant that attacks in this area is going to head straight for that Tesla because it's open and it's unprotected on the other side of the wall. Um, so let's bring this last one over here. Do I have another one sitting out somewhere? Am I missing one? I'm missing one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put that last one right in there, guys. That does it for those. And then let's just bring in our uh, air bombs and spread them out around the perimeter. Um, generally on the side where the air defenses are because people will get in there and think that they have your air defense down, but they do not. Um, so then they deploy their troops. And um, what does that say? <laughs> That's funny. Um, so yeah, there we go guys. That is the new base. That is a new hurricane base design as you can see um, And thank you uh, Loxie BBN for saying that I'm cooler than y'all um, You guys are actually pretty sweet um, So that's it guys. That's it for this base design the hurricane base. I hope that you like it um, I do have a full army camp, so I'm gonna go ahead and raid after this but guys as always, thank you so much for watching. You guys are so awesome. You're so much cooler than me. And I really do appreciate all my subscribers, um, all the likes that y'all give. It means so much to me. If you like this base design, use it, tweak it, do whatever. It's not mine. It's not copyrighted or anything like that. This is just my hurricane base, guys. Um, but as always, guys, thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video and keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later.